It is summertime and while enjoying the heat of this yearly season, you might not be unaware of its effect in your health. Have you ever heard about a certain condition called heat stroke? Oh, well maybe but still wondering what really it is. Let's take a quick overview of what is heat stroke. The body has its own mechanism to control body temperature however many factors can affect this process altering the balance causing mild to severe problems. When the body is exposed to high temperatures in normal people, the body will respond by activating the sweat glands and draws water in the skin surface together with salt. When this evaporates it helps cool down the body. However, when you are not well hydrated then it cannot sustain already the process of perspiration. When this happens the body temperature can go rise at high levels that can cause a problem. So, what is heat stroke? It is a serious, life-threatening form of heat injury that happens when the body temperature rises up to 40 degrees Celsius or higher. Heat stroke is usually the result of prolonged exposure to sunlight or physical exertion at high temperatures. It occurs commonly during summer seasons. The brain cannot tolerate too much heat, it will eventually interfere or shut off brain signals that facilitate body processes, that's why when you got a high fever, it is essential to treat it immediately or else the brain will be cooked literally. And if this happens, other functions of the body can severely be affected. Heat stroke requires an immediate intervention as delayed management can damage the brain, heart, kidneys, and muscles. The longer the treatment is delayed it worsens the damage and increases the risk of serious complications or even death. There are two causes of heat stroke. 1. Exertional heat stroke. It happens when someone is exposed to a hot environment doing exertional activities. This happens most probably to athletes and military trainees having activity under hot weather. They are least likely to be concerned about the effects of heat in their health which makes them prone to heat stroke. 2. Non-exertional stroke. It occurs to those people who have lessened the ability to regulate body temperatures such as the elderly, young children, and those people with chronic illnesses. There are certain factors that contribute to heat stroke. 1. Your fluid intake. The body is made up of almost 60% of water and staying hydrated is essential especially during warm weather. 2. Bulky clothing under the sun impedes the release of heat in the body and risen up body temperature. 3. Being overweight tends to have harder times cooling their body due to the fats deposited in their tissues. 4. Sleep deprivation causes the body to double up the loss of water thus making it more prone to dehydration when exposed to extreme heat. 5. Some medications such as antihistamine, diuretics, laxatives, calcium channel blockers, and other medications that contribute to the loss of body fluids. 6. Confined to warm and a not well-ventilated room, especially for elders, may spike body temperature. 7. History of heat stroke and use of illicit drugs. How do you know if you are experiencing heat stroke? In early stage the body will warn you with the following responses. You might experience abdominal cramps, muscle cramps, nausea, vomiting, headache. When you did not respond with the warning signs the worst symptoms come out. You might experience irritability, delusions, hallucinations, seizures, coma. You may prevent heat stroke by 1. Drinking plenty of fluids. 2. Stay in a cool area during the hottest time of the day. 3. Do strenuous activities early in the morning or during sunset if possible. 4. Lessen alcohol and sleep well at night to prevent the risk of dehydration. 5. Wear lightweight and light-colored clothing so your body can breathe. 6. If you cannot postpone activity make sure to take a break in between periods and hydrate. Thanks for watching. And if you really like this video. Hit like and the subscribed button below.